There's a storm brewing. So today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to go over different food items that you can keep in your house just in case you have a power outage. And we will get to stockpiling right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time, we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about different food products that you can keep in your house in case you're anticipating some kind of a power outage. Because it's at the forefront of our mind right now because we are facing a hurricane yes. next week. But if you live where there can be winter storms, I mean, you it's still a concern for you. Or if you just have a power outage because of like rolling blackouts. Or yeah, anything. I remember a few years ago up the whole Northeast was having those blackouts and people were going for several days and weeks without any electricity. I think it's always nice to have a stockpile of food that is non-perishable, you can keep in your house and just every once in a while rotate it. And I think a lot of people who aren't keto start to panic, like what am I going to eat when I can't make, you know, pasta dishes and rice things and, you know, the, the normal things they're used to, to cooking. But honestly, for keto folk, we're in good shape. Yeah, it was funny. I went to the store the other day. I was in Aldi's and people were panicking. Couldn't find bread. Couldn't find, it was not a canned vegetable. Everything is going, and I'm walking through it. I'm buying butter and heavy cream. And people are looking like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't need any of that stuff for like a stockpile in case we don't have any power. Yeah. I've got plenty of good food. I was looking at stuff like butter and stuff to make keto chow. And by the way, a lot of people don't know, even salted butter doesn't have to be refrigerated. You can leave that out on your counter for a week or two, so long as it's salted. And it's something easy too that you can just toss into the cooler yep. and keep it like, you know, refrigerated it's not levels. like it's not like chicken where you better make sure you're keeping that like super cold exactly so yeah we're gonna go over a bunch of different products now we also do have a generator for our house so don't worry about us there we gotta make sure rachel's got air conditioning right we have one room that has a separate air conditioner that can be powered by our small generator happy wife happy <laughs> life that's right and ain't nobody happy if mama is hot during a hurricane yeah but we do have the one generator that actually i love this generator because it's a dual fuel generator. It's portable, but it runs on both propane and gasoline. So we have like five cans of propane and then we have like five cans of gas. So if we run out of one, we can run it on the other. I am a seventh generation Floridian. So we are used to hurricane season. Yes. And we have, you know, really tried to streamline this operation and, you know, buy the things along and along, invest in things like in case of power outage for extended periods of time, we'll be okay. Yeah. Now the generator for us is only really so that we can run, like make sure that our refrigerator and our freezers don't go down, maybe turn on the TV to catch what's going on with the news and stuff like that. It's not powerful enough to wash our clothes, run our pool pump or our microwave and our like stove. So all the foods that we're gonna go over pretty much don't need any cooking. And shelf stable, yeah. And they're all shelf stable. So uh, let's start off with this though. Today's video is gonna be sponsored by Keto Bars. Keto Bars. Um, keto Bars are awesome. They are the first Keto Bar. The original. And uh, the owner is awesome. His name is John. We got to hang out with him a little bit when we were at KetoCon. We did. And uh, we really like this. This is the dark chocolate coconut almond flavor. It's delicious. There's three flavors and there's actually a fourth flavor that is being announced i believe it's on september 3rd which if is I my remember birthday right. yes that's your that's your birthday it's gonna be a good birthday present we get to find out what the new flavor is yes so anyway um this is probably the first product that i would say like is a great product to have it's my favorite bar so much so that it's hard for me to keep them in the house because it's like eating fudge for me yeah uh, but the ingredients on this one here is you going to read that coconut, uh, chocolate? Chocolate, almonds, coconut, cocoa processed with alkali, non-GMO erythritol, water, coconut oil, salt, and stevia. Yeah, so you can't get cleaner ingredients in this. So if you need something, hey, I need some fat, I need some just some energy. I mean, one of these bars is what, 230 calories, 20 grams of fat. 
It's 15 total carbohydrates, seven dietary fiber, five grams of erythritol, which makes it what three, three net carbs, and it's only five grams of protein. So this is a perfect example of something that's nice to have in the house. Hey, I need something. I still want to maintain my upper ratios with the higher fat. Keto bars is something that's great to have in the house. We have them here all the time, but we hide them from Joe. <laughs> We do hide them from me. I put them in the back of the freezer and I forget about them. Now, uh, there is a link down below. So if you like to support the channel, if you do want to get some keto bars, please use that link. It helps support the channel. Yep. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have a coupon code because they do price them so low. They don't really do coupon codes, but they do have a mailing list thing. So if you kind of go and sign up for their mailing list, they'll give you a coupon for signing up for their mailing list. Awesome. Okay. So that would be the first thing. Now let's get into a Rachel Essential that we have to... To have and that would be coffee 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 talk yep now we do have our coffee maker just in case um so we have like the ones and the beans and stuff like that but we're looking at what do we do if, if we can't even power our coffee maker yeah because rachel will go crazy well, i will go nuts <laughs> so um yeah before a storm hits if i think that there's going to be a power outage i will go ahead and brew up a bunch of coffee and put it into uh thermoses yep so we're ready to go if you watch my instagram stories I had put that kind of little detail on it. But yeah, the instant coffee is a great alternative, you know? It's something. Yeah. Now, along with that, since we do have coffee, I don't like black coffee. And I'm not a big fan of instant to begin with. So we're going to have to do something to flavor it. So we do have, this is definitely not an essential, but we happen to have some. This is the Lincanto Mark, uh, the monk fruit caramel. And there's also a vanilla. Mm -hmm. I like them better than like buying the skinny syrups and stuff because it's being flavored with erythritol and monk fruit. Yeah. We don't have to worry about all the sucralose and all of the other types of sugar alcohols that aren't very good for you. Not that sucralose is bad, but we're talking about, you know, different like maltitol, stuff like that. Yeah. These are really good. They're really tasty. Then we've got some nut pods because it's a shelf stable creamer. Don't have to worry about the, the dairy. Yep. And then in addition to that, we've got some MCT oil powder, which honestly, I don't even need this when I have this. Yeah. This is like so sweet. The perfect keto one in particular. Salted caramel is my groove. Yep. Um, But yeah. These, this is awesome. And so here you go. Here's breakfast yes. right here in a pinch. Hey, you can do this with, you know, a couple scoops of this. That's 100 calories. If you want to add a little bit of extra sweetness, like this is the unflavored one. Like this caramel goes great with it. So that is one of your first options. So some of these items are things that you can buy in a local store. And some of these things that we're going to go over today are stuff that you would probably order. Like, I, I've seen that caramel syrup in the stores. Obviously, Perfect Keto, you'd order it from, like, online. I actually saw that syrup in, like, a Ross. Oh, really? Dress for Less. And yes. you didn't buy it? I didn't. Cool, well, because we already had some. Oh, but okay. I just thought it was... I remember I noticed it because I was like, oh, my gosh. they're Lecanto selling. Conto is in Ross. It's in Ross. Yeah. So we will leave links for anything that you can buy online down below. Now, along with that, maybe you're not a coffee drinker. Lakanto actually makes this really good matcha latte, it's, and it's already sweetened. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's tasty. If you've ever, sometimes matcha like just rubs me the wrong way. It's kind of like wheatgrass juice, right? It's an acquired taste. But because they've added some sweetener to it, this one is like really good. Yep. Okay. Oh, and last thing to go along with that, I know it's we're not. It's not a Lakanto ad, I promise. But no. I mean, it's the sweetener that we use. Obviously, we need some sweetener for coffee. This is just something that, you know, you want to just keep on hand. Yep. I can also, like, in a pinch when we're just drinking water, um, add this and some of those uh, true lemon packets to it. Make some lemonade. And then the kids are happy, too. Yep. So uh, now let's get into, okay, probably if I was in a pinch and I had nothing else, uh, not that this is a bad item, but no. this is like, this will get you through. You don't need anything else. And that would be keto bricks. Yeah. Right. I mean, thousand calories, perfect keto macros. So, I mean, this is what the mocha flavor. This is your flavor. Coconut cream. I love coconut cream. And we are getting ready to start that also that will reverse diet and then cut with Keto Savage. That's the smile on my face. Yes, which we were actually going to start on September 1st, but we may be delaying that since we have the storm. And like to do that properly, we're going to have to really track our macros. And we don't know if we're going to have electricity. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult well, to have perfect macros. One week later. So we'll probably start it like as soon as we know if we have electricity. Probably like Wednesday is yeah. when I would say we're going to start that. Okay, so that, but yeah, Keto Bricks, again, something you can order online. We're not affiliates with Keto Brick or anything like that, but 
but I think it's just a perfect, it's a meal replacement, right? Good to have in the house. So it would be a great thing to have in the house if you need something and don't have access to anything else, that would be it. So let's stick with, you want to stick with main foods first yeah. and then we'll get into snacks? I would say probably the biggest staple would be some canned meat. Yeah. Which again is something that like, you know what's the funny thing? People go crazy preparing for a storm. They buy a whole bunch of food that they're never going to eat unless they're. it's a dire circumstance. That's and then true. they're stuck with a bunch of canned foods that honestly they wind up usually donating like for th at Thanksgiving time to like local food drives because they're never going to eat this. Um, for us, this is stuff that we eat all the time. You're not wasting a penny of money because yeah. you're going to eat this stuff. With the exception of the instant coffee, everything that we're going to show you today is stuff that was already in our house. Stuff yeah. that we, we didn't buy it to stockpile it for a storm. It's stuff that we keep in our house and we always make sure we keep some excess in case there's a power outage. We just bought the instant coffee because we don't want this to be a crime scene right. later. So we got our meat. So this, we got this, I believe at Costco as well. Uh -huh. This is pulled pork and water. And again, all of this stuff, we're not going off the rails and going to go total dirty, like horrible keto. Pretty much all of this stuff is pretty clean ingredients. You know, yeah. maybe a couple of things. Obviously, I'd much prefer to have a fresh brisket at, off the smoker. But Wouldn't if everybody... you don't have access to that, we're not worried about it. Now, we also, while well, we mentioned that, we did go buy a bunch of pellets for our smoker because I don't need electricity for that. And... If we had to, we could just start eating up our freezer. That doesn't make me sad. Right. So, but it, for example, the ingredients in this, pork, water, salt. That's it. That's all that's in this. So that's a good option. This is the Kirkland chicken. And I just found this. I may even actually eat this. It's tuna though. It's tuna, but I found this at Costco. Uh-huh. But this, it was a dollar or two more. But look at this. This is Wild Planet, which they make awesome sardines. That's another thing. I forgot to pull out a can of sardines. But sardines is another great keto food. I know you're not a great big fan of the taste of it, but it's an awesome keto food. I don't. I hope we don't have any canned liverwurst. So uh, don't worry. I got a surprise for you for later. But anyway, this is Wild Planet, albacore wild tuna. But look at that. Look at that line. Sustainably pull and line cod. This isn't like farm raised tuna fish. So, I mean, wow. Wild Planet makes some of the best foods out there. And the ingredients in this albacore tuna, sea salt. That's, that's it. it. Albacore tuna and sea salt. So, there's 10 servings per container in here. Serving size is three ounces, 100 calories, two and a half grams of fat, zero carbohydrates, 21 grams of protein. Wow. So, so, but I mean, I'm just super excited about the fact that Wild Planet has a, a sustainably pole in line caught tuna fish. This is awesome. So I'll let you put those over there. Now, one thing I we did forget to pull out just in case uh, is get it, make sure you have some mayonnaise. Um, you can buy by the packs. Buy even. the little packets of mayonnaise. We forgot to pull some out, but you know, if you need tuna, if you want some mayonnaise with, you know, obviously canned tuna, canned chicken, it is gonna be higher in protein. Mm -hmm. So either do some mayonnaise or you can just have some avocado oil and just kind of spoon some avocado oil into your coffee or drink or just into your mouth. These we got from Trader Joe's and this we got from Kirkland's. It's just coconut this is oil. Costco. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say Kirkland? Well, Kirkland is Costco. But it yes. is Costco, right. But yeah, and this is delicious. This stuff from Trader Joe's yeah. is a little bit chunky. It's These really are good. really good. It's a great option. We don't use them a lot, but we do keep some like in our house. Rachel keeps a couple in her purse. So if we're out, we go out for some reason, we go to some place to eat. It's super high protein. Just squirt one of these in our mouth. And it it's also great. helps really boost up your ketones because that coconut oil that the MCTs right to you. Yeah. And you want some mental clarity in a storm. Okay. So uh, let's go into sticking with the food items would be some bone broth. Yeah. So obviously you can have this kettle and fire bone broth or any bone broth. We found this at Costco. Uh, we actually found this at the Texas Costco and I yes. bought a couple and then I ordered some to have delivered. But this is powdered bone broth. 
It's grass-fed beef bone broth, 10 grams of protein per packet. So this is something that maybe if you wanted to boil it on, you know, in a, on a pot in your grill, you could do that if yeah. you wanted to make a batch. But this blends it up with like some butter in, in replacement of like a, a keto coffee. You could mix your MCT oil with it too. Yeah. And it's, it's a good breakfast yeah. also. Yeah, we usually blend it with butter, but obviously we're talking about like, what if you don't have access to butter? Yep. Like you said, coconut oil or just squirt some in your mouth. But I like this powdered option because it doesn't take up a lot of room. I mean, this powder, this one comes with how many were in here? 15. You can put it in your purse. The ingredients, beef collagen, chicory root, beef, salt, some yeast extract, natural flavors, and some spices. It's nice to have, honestly, in case you get stuck some, you know, at work and you're like, oh man, I didn't pack my lunch. It's like having lunch. a cup of soup. It and is. it tastes really, really it's good. It's really good. Okay. Um, looking for what's next up. Oh, we almost forgot one of our favorites. Keto chow. Keto chow. We always have a batch of keto chow mixed up and ready to go. And that's just because we may have a hectic schedule and don't know if we're getting home in time for, you know, lunch. We can just yep. grab that and go. Um, Remember, but three of these, everything you need for the day. Now, I know you may be thinking, like, we make our keto chow with butter, once in a blue moon, heavy cream, if we're going to make it into an ice cream. Store it but, in the cooler. Well, I'm not even talking about that. We're talking again, no access to cooler, no access okay. to refrigerator. What do we do? Avocado oil. There you go. Go get yourself some avocado oil, and then all you need is your keto chow and a blender bottle. And again, we're talking about how to survive yep. with no electricity. So you can also I can't use coconut keep it oil. Cold. Yeah, coconut oil. With the orange cream um, flavor, tastes really good. Yeah, now the coconut oil you do normally have to melt, but hey, let's face it. We live in South Florida. Stick it outside for five minutes. It's and melted. It's melted. It's good. So, so yeah, another great option to keep just in case. You don't have to make it with butter. That's one of the nice things about keto chow is that it can be blended with so many different types of fats. Yeah. Okay. Um, think that, oh, just in case... We don't really get into these much, but some canned vegetables. Yeah. And you've got a special one there. I do. These are the black soybeans. And we got this from a local mom and pop nutritional store. Yes. I've been looking forever for them. They used to have them in our Whole Foods. And I went into Whole Foods. I'm like, can you order them? He's like, sorry, we discontinued them. Yeah. But they but they did have them at a mom and pop nutritional store. And that's a funny thing. You know, a lot of people don't think about going to those places that are considered just vitamin stores in, um, in a storm situation. But... No line and no waiting at the mom and pop store. Yeah, we have a store. It's called Save a Lot, which mm -hmm. not to be confused with the Save a Lot grocery store. Yeah. And I had gone in there, and I was like, I didn't even think about it. When Aldi's and Walmart and everything else had been raided and the shelves were barren, they had a complete stockpile. Now, not everything in there is keto, but it's all like health food. But lots of this kind of stuff. But you may and be able to find the flowers bars and stuff like the bars. They have a lot of different bars and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. check out. Your health food stores. Now, one thing you're not going to see here that's canned, spam. Well, I almost bought it because it's not clean. I mean, it does have a bunch of like stuff in it, but it does fall into, it could be considered a good dirty keto, but I just didn't want to buy like 12 cans of it. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> like it, it will have to be a zombie apocalypse situation for me to eat spam. <laughs> So now along with that, we have some, this is just, we just happen to have these. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have jarred asparagus, but also pickles. We forgot to pull out the pickles. Yeah, pickles. Make sure you have some jars of pickles. There's sauerkraut. Yep. You could have pickled um, cauliflower, all kinds of things yeah. that, that are just pickled and ready to go. If you're like, how am I going to get a vegetable in? Yep. Another great option to just keep on hand for yourself. So some olives. Not I'm a for huge me, fan. but you love your olives. I am a huge fan. And I think that's pretty much for the main staples of food. Oh, wait. This one is really important. Really, really important. We got to deal with our electrolytes. Zip fizz. Zip fizz and then also keto chow electrolyte drops. So yeah. if you don't want to drink a whole, you don't want to hold drink a whole bunch of these maybe bouncing off the wall. But these are but great. But we also have the keto chow electrolyte drops. And you can mix them in water. I will just squirt some in my mouth, honestly. Yep. Just a little salt water. Nice and salty. So this is our stockpile of zip fizz. I don't play roulette. I just want fruit punch. Yeah, except for I see you're almost out of fruit punch again. I know. We'll buy more. Okay, so let's get into some good keto snacks 
that are not going to destroy your macros, that are going to keep you good. And now again, all of this stuff is pretty clean. Because here's the thing. I was already looking at people putting on Facebook that they were planning on gaining 10 or 20 pounds during the storm because they start eating a bunch of garbage food, yep. like so, chips and stuff. And the bottom line is, if you've never been through a hurricane or an extended power outage, boredom eating, you get bored. Yep. Now, the last time we had a power outage from a storm, um, I had just started keto. I think I'd been on keto for about eight months. Mm -hmm. And that was still where I didn't know a whole lot of what I was doing. And I remember I stockpiled at, um, the closet, if you remember right, with Atkins bars. Yes. Because they happened to be that week, they were buy one, get one free. Now, it got me through the storm. But not happily. But not happily. But I did eat those. But again, now I wouldn't eat Atkins bars, but it was still something. But even then, I kind of knew, like... What can I do? Because, yeah, you get really bored when you're eating. So we wanted to make sure we had some good, healthy keto snacks that aren't going to destroy us. So first thing I have is F-bomb meat sticks. Now, any kind of meat stick would be good, but these have become my favorite. They're really tasty. Uh, we do have a coupon code. I don't remember how much it's for. I will leave a link for it down below. But these, they have a bunch of different flavors. This is actually a variety package. I love these little pouches they come in. You can make it like your makeup pouch when you're done. I was going to say, I use them as like a travel bag. So they have a smokehouse flavor, a salt and pepper, and a jalapeno flavor. But these are really awesome. And what's nice about them, 75% fat, 20% protein in these. So you're sticking a good keto macros. A lot of times you get meat sticks and they're super high in protein. Yeah, and they have a bunch of sugar yep. and flavoring. Yeah, no, these all have great ingredients. And maybe with pork, no antibiotics, no hormones, no nitrates, no nitrites, no artificial ingredients. So and again, they're called F bomb. Oh well, which that's is that's another whole video, right? Then along with that, we're gonna have some nut butter. Nut butters, right? and F bomb does make nut butter now. Yeah, they have a few different kinds. This is the macadamia with coconut, which is so good. I love this stuff. And again, it doesn't have to be F bomb. It could be a lot of different ones. It's just. F-bomb has become one of my the ones that I really like because I like the peely nut butter too, which, but it's just a little bit higher in fat, so I kind of go back and forth. But what I like about these and the peely nuts, which I have a peely nut one right here too. I like the single serve packages. But I am dangerous with the little jars. Yeah. Okay. I will I, eat the I, whole thing. I, that little jar, that becomes a serving. Whereas it does. at least I can pick up this, I can look at it and go, Okay, I'm eating 210 calories, and I'm just going to eat the entire thing. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, that's another great option. I personally advise people to stay away from. Don't go get peanut butter and stuff. Peanut butter is not super great on keto. No. It is higher in carbohydrates. It's not usually from really great ingredients because most peanuts are like, even though the peanuts themselves aren't GMO, they're grown in farms that are you know, GMO from the cotton. If so. you are um, just out at the store and you can only get, go to the store, get the nutso. Yeah, get, well, get nutso or, you know, try to get almond butter. I'd stay away from the peanut butter. But if you can, go with the better options for keto butter, which would be like macadamia nut butter or peely nut butter, or those kind of things. You won't regret it later. Yeah. Okay, while we're on the story of peely nuts, another great... High fat snack would be pilly nuts. Yes, these are so good. Oh my gracious. Yep. They're delicious. And then of course, not everybody has, we, we're, again, we don't want to just have like stuff that you have to buy online. Right. Uh, we do have a coupon code for that, but just some pecans. Yep. Almonds. I think pecans are better. Uh, they're higher in fat, lower in carbohydrates. So nice way to have them. Yeah. Right. Delicious. And what else do we got? Any other snack snack? Oh, yes. Okay. So we have pork, pork rinds. rinds. Rachel's favorite and my favorite. Yep. Oh, these are cracklins? Cracklins. For me, well, these these are pork rinds. These are the barbecue flavored. They're small, but they're mighty. Those are the small, but mighty. But here's the thing. Here's why I like these better. This, five servings. This, five servings. It's because they're dense. I know, but... If you want to just eat. They're so tasty now. But yeah, pork rinds. Great option. 
but make sure you're not getting get plain if you're not buying like epic or or some of these other make ones. sure you're checking your ingredients Check one your of ingredients. the reasons we've shifted over to pretty much buying epic and like uh the, what is it 4505 is the other brand yeah because we do like the flavored ones but most of the flavored ones especially if you go to the gas station stuff like that got melted extra and msg all that kind of nonsense so, in it so. so check your ingredients or go for plain yes. just like with no you know no taste or you know, no taste no uh seasoning yeah and the one nice thing is if you just see in the ingredients if it just says like you know pork skin that means it's fried in the pork skin you know try not to get the stuff where it's like pork skin fried in canola oil yeah so the next thing dang dang so we weren't looking so much at the bars but just if you need something like i hey again boredom Snack. eating snacking you know, playing Uno, which we do a lot, like in the pool. Marathon Uno. Right? So just some of these dang coconut chips. Dang! We forgot to mention, like, obviously you're going to have water. Yep, true So you true may lemon. want some true lemon seasoning. Because I'm going to need uh, something to help me get the water down. Yep. Then we got some... Cheesy deliciousness. Cheese, cheese snacks, right? These are the F-bomb cheese snacks. And again, it doesn't have to be F-bomb. There's a lot of different companies. I try, I like all of the different ones. As long as they're like actual cheese. So to, so check. Last week on Instagram, I had put up one where they were like packaged next to each other, but one had a bunch of different types of flowers in them packed ne um, sitting next to moon cheese. Yeah. So not all cheese snacks are created equally. So just check the label on the back and make sure you're just getting cheese. Yeah, Whiffs, moon cheese, uh, Bunker Hill, probably one of my yeah. favorites. They have great really flavors. Good. Although I'm really upset that they got rid of the peri peri flavor. The guy told me they discontinued and nobody would buy it. It's so hot. Um, High Key Snacks makes a really good one. Um, they they actually have theirs with egg whites, which is what gets it so crispy. Sometimes you can buy just like parm crisp straight from Whole Foods yep. that they're making in-house with just cheese. Yep. And, and then, then Aldi's. And then, yeah, these are the Keto Crunch from F-Bomb. I happen to really like these. They have a bunch of different flavors. And then Aldi's has one. Now, I don't remember how much the F-Bomb ones. The Aldi's ones, I did, the bag was just like all the other ones. This is $3. This is three servings. But, again, it's not filled all the way. Yeah, they're, this one's a little higher. Yeah, but, but um, they're pretty good. It's the, What I like about it, it's easily accessible. Yeah, yeah, you can get them. And then, finally, probably the uh, most, I don't know, processed thing that we have here. And that would be... Some Quest chips. Quest chips. And again, we got those from a mom and pop nutritional store. No, I got these from GNC. Oh, did you? They were on clearance though. But I I don't think you, I don't them. even think you've tried them yet, right? We bought a box of them for like going to the movie or something, but they were on clearance for 50 cents a bag. So I'm like, okay, I'll buy a box of them. So I think we got a box of 12 just of them. Just to have. Kind of to do a review and just to have them, but yeah. But again, the biggest problem with this. Three and a half grams of fat, 21 grams of protein. Oh. So it's a nice little snacky snack if you need some kind of like, you know, something to get through a movie or, hey, I want some potato chips with, you know, whatever you may be throwing on the grill. But it is super high in protein, whereas pretty much everything else that we went through, with the exception of the canned meat, is all higher in fat than protein. So all of these things are going to keep you on target you're not going to get on the other end of this storm or power outage and be like, wow, I totally derailed and now I have to recover from the storm and I have to recover my diet. Yeah. So, yep. So those are all of the different products that we have stored in our house for this hurricane, for future hurricanes, for any time we have a power outage. Mm -hmm. And we do, again, want to thank Keto Bars for sending us some Keto Bars. Yeah. They're going to sponsor a couple of videos for us this month. And towards the end of the month, we're going to do a giveaway of some keto bars. Yeah. So, again, if you can, if you would like to support us at all, use the link down below to get your keto bars. Thank you. So, that is our video for today. Let us know in the comment section if there's anything that we missed. It would be a great stockpile item for a storm. Yeah. Or so, power outage of any sort. I did just think of one. Yeah. My wall of Zevia. Oh, yeah. Which is kind of getting low because I noticed recently it's that- It's a half wall. Well, it's not so much a half wall, but it's missing two very important flavors. Root beer? Yes. <gasps> Cream soda? Yes. Oh! Somebody's drinking them all, and it's not me. I can't imagine. It's a, We've been burglared. <laughs> well, that is our video for today. If you like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.